Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord that the Lord has uh, given us this uh, another beautiful Sunday where uh, we can gather and be blessed, be empowered, and be inspired by His Word. As we all know that uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out from the mouth of the Lord. The Word of God is our weapon to overcome the wiles or works, strategies of the enemy. We are assured of that. And so uh, I am so grateful and so happy to come to you and share what the Lord has placed in my heart. But uh, before we continue, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity of uh, coming together, being blessed, being empowered, and being inspired by your words. And I pray that you will open our heart to be receptive and be able to internalize the truth that comes from your word. And we are to be blessed right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I would like us to read um, Acts chapter uh, 2, verse 17. Acts chapter 2, verse 17. And then we will also jump to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. And sabi po niya dito sa Acts chapter 2 verse 17, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people, all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1, sabi po niya, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And then in verses 1 onward, uh, verse 2 onward, mababasa po natin doon ang uh, enumeration ng iba't ibang klase ng uh, makamundong gawain or uh, conduct na kung saan ay uh, magaganap. At uh, maraming mga bagay na makikita nga uh, ito ay klase ng uh, pamumuhay ng mga tao in the last days. And so it is not necessary for us believers to uh, um, study our advantage as believers. As what mentioned in John chapter 16 verse 7, that it is our advantage that the, the Lord Jesus Christ, um, you know, uh, was ascended to heaven because uh, he sent us the Holy Spirit to continue to empower us. And then um, uh, also, uh, I would like us to consider this. I will pour out my spirit. And that is uh, my uh, theme for uh, today. I will pour out my spirit. Why do we need to continually experience the pouring out of the Holy Spirit? Number one, because we need to become effective witness of Christ or for Christ. And number two, we need to forcefully advance the kingdom because we are the ambassador of the kingdom. The reason why we are here is because of that divine assignment. So we need to continually experience the pouring out of the Holy Spirit because we need to forcefully advance the kingdom. And number three, because... We need to continue to gather in the name of Jesus. And I would like to uh, elaborate that later on. And so, to be effective witness of Christ, that is uh, in Acts chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Sabi po niya, He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and all Samaria into the ends of the earth. Now, I would like us to focus and to take note the word effective witness. I believe that in response to the calling of God sa buhay po ng bawat iya sa atin, ay tayo po'y tinawag ng Painon sa iba't ibang kaparaanan. Ang iba sa atin tinawag na preacher. And that is why I enjoy preaching because alam ko, ito po ay tawag ng painon sa akin. Ang iba sa inyo ay tinawag ng painon na maging teacher, na maging doctor, na maging engineer, maging businessman or business uh, women. 
or uh, iba't ibang klase ng tawag, ano man yung ginagawa mo ngayon, na kung saan ay nandoon yung passion mo, motivation mo, ay uh, yun ang indication na doon ka tinawag ng Painoon. Pero ang gusto kong tingnan natin dito, yung salitang effective witness. Because somewhat, we, uh, we are being confused. Dahil nga, ang dami mga tanong, saan ba talaga ako tinawag ng Painoon? Am I doing the will of God in my life? You know, the will of God is for us to become effective witness. In other words, to let the kingdom come and be established on earth through us. In other words, when the Holy Spirit came upon you, you are not only be empowered to become a good Christian, a strong believers, growing in your faith, but at the same time, you manifest success in your particular calling. Yes, there are challenges. Dahil ang pamumuhay po natin sa lupa ay hindi kisira-sira, whatever will be, will be. And some of you experience those challenges in pursuit of your desires in life, your job. But I want you to consider this because I believe the Holy Spirit will activate you. Activate you from doing your calling, yung trabaho at passion mo sa buhay mo. The Holy Spirit will reactivate you. And after you are being reactivated, you are being elevated. So that in that level, na nais ng painoon na ma-achieve mo, you will experience acceleration in your success or your effectiveness in your line of calling, you can be effective witness for Christ. Why? Because you will demonstrate the power of God in your own work, in your own uh, job. Lahat ng tinatanaman po yung ginagawa mo, may manifestation doon ng uh, Power of the Holy Spirit sa buhay mo because the Holy Spirit leads us to know all truth. Kaya ano ba yung mga dapat mong matutunan at malaman sa ginagawa mo? You ask the Holy Spirit. And that is why it is necessary for us to pray and seek the Holy Spirit in relation to what we are doing. Yes, I know that some of you had experienced frustrations in the past. But you need to believe that part of the last days is the manifestation of that effectiveness to become effective witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so get ready because after all these challenges, na mukhang ang mundo po ay uh, wala ng pag-asa. Tayo pong mananampalataya sa Panginoon na may pag-asa na nagmumula sa Panginoon, tutulungan po tayo ng banal na Espiritu. Why do we need to continually experience the pouring out of the Holy Spirit? The purpose is so that we'll become effective witness. You know, the disciples, because they, they uh, rapidly grow, they grow so much, the disciples uh, decided to select uh, uh, <clears throat> men, saving men. The requirement was, that this should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Men who are filled with the Holy Spirit. What is the purpose of that? So that they will take care the material needs of the ministry while the disciples will focus on preaching as well as in prayer. But I want you to notice this. Although they were called to manage the material aspect of the ministry, in other words, the ministry that has to do with material things. But they were so effective in doing it that they ended up while doing what they are called for, what they are assigned to do, at the same time, they became effective evangelists. Like for example, Stephen, Philip. They were 
part of the seven men who were assigned by the disciples to take care and to become in charge of the material needs of the ministry. But because they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they were effective in managing their, their, their assignment. But at the same time, they are effective in witnessing the people under the power of the Holy Spirit. In other words, I come to you this morning to challenge you. Whatever the Lord has called you, expect that you will demonstrate and display a high level of effectivity because that is your calling. And that is my prayer that you will experience that. And number two, to forcefully advance the kingdom. Yes, of course, uh, it is, it is uh, somewhat uh, the same in nature, but I just want to experience yung, uh, what was mentioned in Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. Anong sabi po niya? From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been first fully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. I like the translation in NIV um, 1984. I like what, what the, the way it was translated because sabi po niya, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing. And then it did not stop there. Forceful men lay hold of it. The kingdom of God will only be advanced radically, forcefully by the forceful men. In other words, men who are called by the Lord, individual believers who are called by the Lord, who are brave, bold, radical in their faith, Preaching, sharing the gospel, exercising their kingdom authority, dominating the earth. The reason why we are here is to manifest the power of the kingdom. From the days of John until now, what was the message of John? It is all about repentance. Because repentance is necessary. Repent ye for the kingdom of God is at hand. In order for us to operate powerfully in the kingdom, we need to repent. We need to repent. And as a result of that repentance, you know, we are being born in the spirit. And that is the message that uh, John emphasized in John chapter 3 verse 3. About being born from above. And I believe that repentance is the key to live in holiness. Holiness so that we will not compromise. You know uh, those uh, churches mentioned in Revelation chapter 2 and 3. The church of Ephesus was known to be a compromising church. And the Lord is calling us to realize this. Holiness is not alternative but imperative. Napakalaga that while you are doing what the Lord has called you to do, you know, kasama po doon ay number one for you to become effective. Number two, to forcefully advance the kingdom. To dominate the world with the power of, of the Holy Spirit. You know, if you would only focus on what's happening today, like for example, itong COVID-19 na ito, mukhang we, we magnify this COVID. And then mukhang it controlled us. We cannot move. May mga requirements na somewhat... You know, the world is now operating in fear. But greater is he that is in us, you know. 
Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I want to remind you, anang kaaway po, the devil or Satan was a created being. Lucifer, created by the Lord to worship him, but because he revealed against God, he was hurled down together with the two-thirds of angelic host in heaven. They were, they were they hurled down on earth and they became the enemy of God. And so we cannot, we cannot be intimidated so much and we catapult the work of the devil as powerful. You know, we have the powerful one, the Holy Spirit. So we can forcefully advance the kingdom because that is our divine assignment. And after that, na nagawa po natin ito, the end will come. Forcefully advancing. So I pray that the Lord will revive your spirit. I pray that the Lord will invite, will revive your vision. So ano man po yung inilagay ng painoon na, na pangitain sa puso mo, God will revive that so that you will not stop there. And every crisis creates big opportunities. Look on this. This is not the end of time that you would stop what you're doing and uh, lost heart and be, be discouraged. But, you know, opportunities come from crisis. That we need wisdom. I just felt in my heart, many of you will become so much, become effective. Why? We need to first fully advance the kingdom. And advancing God's kingdom on earth is the will of God. Yun po ang kalooban ng Painoon. Kaya pag yun ang sentro ng kaisipan mo, ang plano mo, ang panalangin mo, nabigyan ka ng Painoon ng magandang idea ngayon, at isagawa mo yon, the Lord will enable you. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, anong sabi niya? Thy kingdom come, yun ang panalangin. Na itinuro ng Panginoon sa atin. Now we need to pray that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in, in earth, as it is in heaven. Yung pagpapala at kaluban ng Painoon sa langit ay magmanifest sa lupa. At paano magmanifest mag, 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 mag yan sa magitan po natin mga tinawag na Painoon, mga anak ng Painoon. I'm so excited because I'm about to witness greater things that the Lord will do through us. I'm so excited because I know that the, through the power of the Holy Spirit sa buhay po ng bawat iya sa atin, Makikita po natin yung mga maganda mga bagay, greater things that God will do through us. And so, if you are being led by the Holy Spirit to pray and seek the Lord, ask God's idea. Maybe you are so much affected by this COVID and uh, financially you somewhat broke, but God is the God of restoration, elevation, and acceleration. Just be sensitive. It might be one click of idea. You know, suddenly you thought about it and then it's the beginning of your radical chance. As far as your finances is concerned, it will change you forever. Why? God is looking for those people who stand in the gap. We are being reminded in uh, the book of Jeremiah, or in the Lord is looking down on, on earth, seeking for someone whom he will use to stand in the gap. But even the prophet himself is not qualified, was not qualified. Why? It takes someone not only just listening to the Lord, but to respond radically on the word. God is qualifying us. God is calling us to stand in the gap. Why? God wants to manifest His glory on earth. You know the prayer of Jesus in John 17, 22? Father, the glory which you have given me, I give it to them, that they may be one as you are one. That's very important for us to consider. And number three, 
Why do we need to continually experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit? You know, uh, <clears throat> in uh, Matthew chapter 18, 20, anong sabi niya? For where two or three gathered in together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. For where two or three, that means more, gathered together in my name, that I am in the midst of them. Hindi ba kayo nagtataka na ang isang uh, requirement na na-impost ngayon as protocol ay yung distancing. And so much affected the churches all around the globe. I was praying last March dahil uh, nagsimula na yung uh, COVID na yan that was still, uh, you know, uh, news even January when I was in Korea. Then traveled to Hong Kong and then went home and then prayed about it because March, it was my schedule to come here in America. But it seems everything was good. But as soon as I arrived here, na impost na yung 50 people lang ang quitting mag-gather. So we had the three nights revival meeting, three nights revival meeting in one of our church in Wisconsin. And then after that, wala na. They, they just limit to 10 people because of that distancing. And until now, I'm now in California. And then uh, marami mga churches pa na hindi nag-open. Ano pa? They are uh, utilizing itong virtual online services. Pero ang isang bagay na nakita natin dito, mukhang, wow, it paralyzed the church. We need to pray because we cannot be paralyzed long enough. You know, sabi po niya, gather, gather together in my name. Why is it necessary for us to gather together in the name of Jesus? This uh, man's physical gathering. Anong sabi niya? There I am in the midst of them. Nandun ang Panginoon. I want to remind you, right after the resurrection, the disciples, uh, you know, some of those disciples were walking in the road of Emmaus, and then they start to talk about Jesus, and just immediately appeared. And the disciples who gathered together in, in one home and suddenly while uh, the door and, and, and windows were closed, Jesus appeared inside of them. Many times when they gathered together, Jesus in their midst, he fulfilled this word. Would you uh, also uh, Remember one day when uh, King Nebuchadnezzar set up graven image and he called all his leaders in the kingdom to bow down and worship that graven image, that image set up by Nebuchadnezzar when the flute or other form of music started to be played, they were required to bow down. But Daniel and his friend refused to bow down. And so finally, as a result of that, they were thrown into a burning furnace. But the king himself noticed that there's another one in the form of the Son of God walking with the three men in the midst of that fire. I want to use that to encourage us. Don't just be discouraged. Don't surrender your faith. Stand firm. When we gather together in the name of Jesus, He is in the midst of us. He will fight for us. He will bless us. He will accompany us. He will protect us from this virus. Power of the Holy Spirit is powerful than this virus. Gather in His name. Why do we need to continually being poor, experience the pouring out of the Holy Spirit so that we can we can be able to gather in the name of Jesus? Because when we gather in the name of Jesus, ano pong sabi niya? I am in the midst of them. 
And as we gather today, listening to this message, I want you to be sensitive because the presence of God will manifest in a powerful way. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, anong sabi niya? For you were both at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. We need to glorify God in our body and in our spirit. Praise the Lord. And so I pray that pag hindi pa ninyo naramdaman, for some of you or another, because of many concerns in, concerns in life, you have neglected fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. I pray right now that you will be blessed and experience once again being, being empowered, blessed, refilled, the outpouring, the power of the Holy Spirit. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that even in the last days, there will be perilous time. But we thank you because you also poured out your Holy Spirit. You sent your Holy Spirit to empower us, to protect us, and to guide us, and to lead us to all truth so that we will not be mislaid by the enemy. But I pray that, Lord, Big things, greater things will happen. Lord, the manifestation of your blessing and your protection will be realized in the life of every believer. And I declare that in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I pray that uh, as you just heard this message, it will be our, a message that remind you and empower you to uh, realize that uh, the Word of God is powerful. Thank you and God bless.